This is the post-construction cleaning calculator. So let's say you're going to do the post-construction cleaning on a home that's about 3,000 square feet. So you'd enter your square footage here, hit your tab key, and it will move down to the next field. So now you have the option of doing three different phases of cleaning, a rough clean, light clean, and final clean. And you have the option of entering a production rate or an estimate of how many hours you think it's going to take. If you enter a production rate, it will fill in how many hours. If you enter the hours estimate, it will tell you what your production rate is. So for the sake of this example, let's just use these numbers. We'll say it's a production rate of 1,200 square feet for the rough clean and just tab down to the next one. We'll say 500 square feet per hour for the light clean and 300 square feet per hour for the final clean, and that's per man hour. So now, in order to get your total hours estimate, you would select which cleaning you're going to be doing. You have the option, if you're just going to do the rough clean, then it would be two and a half hours. That's fr pulling from up here. If you're going to be doing um, rough clean and light clean, then it's going to be eight and a half. It'll pull these two. If you're going to do all three phases, then you would choose this one and it's saying 18 and a half hours total. Now you're going to enter pricing information. You can enter a price per square foot price. So let's just use 18 cents a square foot for this example. And you can also estimate it by the hour. So let's say you charge $30 per hour. So what you can do by entering both a square foot price and an hourly rate is you can compare the two. So here's your estimated price for the job. Your price per square foot rate nets $540. If you're charging by the hour, it's $555. So it's a good comparison. Now, if you feel that price is maybe a little high in your area, then you can go with a lower end estimate or you can do a high end estimate or you can enter your own price. Let's say that you're not quite happy with the prices here. You want to charge an even $550. So you can just enter that here. Now you're going to enter the cleaning hours uh, and wages that you're going to pay your cleaners. So let's say you're going to use three cleaners on this job and you're going to pay them $12 an hour. If you enter $12 an hour, it will tell you how many hours it's going to take that person to clean. If you enter another cleaner, it's going to split it between the two. We're going to use three cleaners on this job, so each cleaner will get 6.17 hours. Now we enter our labor expenses. We already have the labor expense filled out here. In order to do your employment expenses, you would fill out the next field. So in the US, FICA and Medicare is 7.65%. We can enter 0.8% for FUDA. SUDA depends on your own company's individual rate, so you need to know what that rate is. If you have perhaps local taxes or maybe you live in a country outside the U.S. and you have a different way of calculating your taxes, you can enter that percentage here. Liability insurance is usually calculated as a percentage per $1,000 of payroll. So we're going to use 1% for our example. And then you would enter your workers' comp rate here. And for this example, we're going to use 9.5%. If you track your overhead, you can enter that rate here. So for this example, let's say your overhead's 22%. You can also enter supplies as a percent of the job. So let's say you, you estimate your supplies to cost 5% of the job. And if you have any rental equipment that you're using on the job, you can enter those costs here. So your total expenses for this job is $327.52. So now you've got the total at the bottom. You're charging $550. Your costs are $327.52. Your profit dollars are $222.48. And your profit percent is 40.45%.